So, Barack Obama has taken a giant step towards securing the Democratic nomination, and it seems all but certain that he will really get there. In the world, which has been following this most dramatic of US elections very, very closely, the questions now are centering around two things, mostly. The real grit of Hillary Clinton and staying in the race. Why is she so determined to see it through to June? I was on French television this morning, various reasons being offered for that. Not least, perhaps, her desire to get a good job in any eventual Obama administration, and her request to Obama's campaign that he somehow refund all or part of the $11 million that she has so far lent her own campaign. The other big question being posed outside the United States is, what will be the decisive factor if indeed it is an Obama-McCain matchup in November? Is it going to be race that will determine the outcome? Or could it be, perhaps, age? Obviously, the answers vary, and that would mean a different outcome for the world. The world is looking to the United States for leadership, the world desperate to see President Bush leave office for the most part, but they also don't want a really inexperienced or a really dogmatic person in the office. They're wondering, can McCain really keep US troops in Iraq? They're wondering, can Obama really handle a crisis? They're not so impressed out here, I think, with arguments that Obama's attitude towards Iran or Cuba constitutes too radical a departure from US policy. But they do wonder who will be a safe pair of hands and who will we all best be able to deal with for the four years after next January. For the International Herald Tribune in Paris, I'm Alison Smale.